Hi there. Last week, our two schools requested an Italian lunch, so we cooked up some slime time spaghetti. But we had some left over, so we decided to use it this week with our first stunt we call it Meet the Ball. Buried in each bowl of week old spaghetti is a slime time meatball. Each team member must find the meatball and pick it up with his mouth. First team with all four meatballs in their mouth will get $25, okay? Players, hands behind your back. Are you ready? Get set. Go! All right, there's one red, two red, three red. They're coming fast. That's the red team, as fast as you can believe it. The red team, that's $25 for the red team. And now let's all play Slime Time. Come on. Yes, it's Slime Time. The messiest half hour on TV, where students and teachers compete in head-to-head -head competition. And here's the star of our show, Marty. there and welcome to slime time and before we get any messier let me tell you the rules of our game the object is to earn a thousand dollars money is earned by answering questions and completing stunts the first team to reach a thousand keeps the money and saves their teacher from being slimed and your teacher will thank you believe me in round one students will have the opportunity to answer a question first player to lock in and answer correctly wins twenty five dollars and gets to pick a spot from good old mr slime head <laughs> I love that tongue. An incorrect answer, and the opposing team gets the money, and then they will pick for Mr. Slimehead. Behind each spot is a stunt, and in this round, each stunt is worth $25. And by the way, players, behind some of those spots are valuable prizes, so you pick the right spot, and you get to keep that prize. Dean, tell us what those prizes are. Just point and shoot with Vivitar's PS135 camera. Autofocus, auto exposure, automatic film loading, beautiful 35 millimeter photographs furnished by Vivitar. And Ultra Wheels, the exciting new world of inline roller skates, handsome color choices, lightweight frame and boot, smooth riding and fun for all furnished by Ultra Wheels. And a service merchandise gift certificate for all your family needs. Select famous name brand items from our catalog or redeem at one of our many stores. Furnished by Service Merchandise. Now back to our Slimer extraordinaire, Marty. Okay. Now you know how the game is played. Let's meet today's teams. We'll start with the blue team and Ryan. Hello, my name is Ryan Rainey. I like to play baseball and someday I hope to play for the um, California Angels. Okay. Hi, my name's Anthony Young and I love to play football and someday I'd like to win the Heisman Trophy. Good team. Hello, my name's Nicole Father. I like swimming and I like animals. Someday I hope to be a vet. Okay. Hi, my name is Mary Aguilar. I teach fourth and fifth grade at Burlwood Elementary School in Simi Valley, and we're here to beat Rosewood. All right, that's the blue team. The blue team. Okay, and now let's say hello to the red team. We'll start with Renee. Hi, my name is Renee. I love to dance, and I like to listen to music, and someday I hope to be a lawyer. Okay. Hi, my name is Lindsay Horstman. I like, I like skateboarding and gymnastics, and someday I hope to be a doctor. Good deal. Hi, my name is Grace Park, and I like to go shopping, do gymnastics, and I hope to be the district attorney of Los Angeles someday. All right. And who's the big guy? My name's Andrew Carey. I'm a sixth grade teacher at Rosewood, and I like to read and write and travel. And some of my kids uh, call me Rocket Man. Rocket Man. They call you Rocket Man because they think you're a fuel. Okay. We have met our teams. Let's get right into the game. Ryan and Renee, step up here. Are you ready? Yeah. First question is worth $25. Hands on your buzzers. When she took her famous ride through the streets, what was Lady Godiva wearing? Uh, nothing. She wasn't wearing anything. She was wearing her birthday suit. That's okay. No, no harm, no foul. When you look at a map of the world, many countries have curious shapes. Which European country is shaped like a boot? <laughs> yes, Ryan? Italy. Italy it is. <laughs> All right, stay over here, Ryan, and pick a spot for Mr. Slimehead. The left nostril. The left nostril, and uh, behind that nostril is this stunt. Oh, well, sometimes you'll hear a prize bell. I gotta go change a diaper, I'll be back. Um, no, when you hear the prize bell, you'll win a prize. That was not the prize bell, but we are gonna play Thread the Needle. Come on down here with me. All right, teachers want to stand right here next to me. You know, uh, I once had a dream that I was Joe Montana, and I just threw the pass that won the Super Bowl. Well, today you guys are going to get a chance to throw a pass that could win you some money. All you have to do is pass balloons to your teacher. And the team with the most completed passes will win $25. But just to make it a little more challenging, you will have to pass the balloon through one of these spike-filled hoops. There are little needles and pins and nails and things. And, of course, we have stuff in our balloons to make them heavier so you can throw them. So, teachers, if you will get right back here. 
Back to Becca. All right, your job will be to catch the balloon without it breaking and drop it into this basket. You three on that side of the yellow line over there. The three blue members over here. Again, there's all kinds of stuff inside the balloons. We're going to give you 20 seconds on the clock, please. 20 seconds, and there it is. All right, you must catch the balloon and drop it into this basket. The one with the most balloons will get the $25. On your mark. Get set. Go. It's got to go. Oh, it popped. Oh, it popped. There's one for the blue seat. That doesn't count. It didn't go through the hoop. It didn't go through the hoop. It's got to go through the hoop. Oh. You keeping track, judges? Five. Turn around here. Judges, what did you see here? We're going to count these. They didn't all go through the hoop. That's the problem. They did? Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down here, only four for the blue team. The red team gets the $25. Let's play another question. Walk carefully there. It's slippery. All right. That's $25 more for the uh, uh, red team, giving you $50. $25 for the blue team. Anthony and Lindsay, step right up here. We ask you to walk carefully around here. It's very slippery after we do our stunt. Here comes the next question. For $25, in which movie did you hear this word? Supercalifragilisticexp... <laughs> yes, sir. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins it was. That ties up the score, 50 to 50. And Anthony, you get to pick a spot. Left ear. And left ear, and behind there is this stunt. That's the prize, pal. You've each won a Vivitar camera. Congratulations to you. And we are going to play a fortune cookie. Come on down here. Walk carefully, please. It's very slippery. This is, of course, our slime buster, Kenny. He comes in here and cleans the place up when we're through. All right, you know, Confucius once said, a team that find the chopsticks in box win a game. Of course, he said it in Chinese. You know, that quotation is as true today as it was when it was first said thousands of years ago. We have put all kinds of oriental goodies in these giant takeout boxes. Unfortunately, our slime time chef dropped a pair of chopsticks in each box. What you have to do is uh, scrimmage through there, rummage through, and find yourself your two chopsticks. The first team that finds both their chopsticks, all four members, and holds them up so I can see them, will win the $25, okay? You gotta grab them, you gotta hold them up so we can see them. On your mark. Now hold on just one second, just to make sure. Now some of these boxes are not open all the way. Let me just get the things out of the way here. Make it fair so you all get into your boxes. There you go. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! Find the chopsticks. Find the chopsticks. Hold them up when you find them. There's one. One, two, two, three, four. I... The red team. The blue team. It's a tie. It's a tie. We're going to give both teams $25. $25 each for the red and the blue team brings them both to $75. And that buzzer means that's the end of round one. We will be back to clean this up and play round two right after this. Don't go anywhere. there and welcome back to round two of slime time in this round we have double the dollar values each correct answer each correct stunt are now worth fifty dollars and there are bigger and better prizes behind those stunts so control becomes very important here and dean goss is now going to tell us what the prizes are for round two dean a selection of rugged and tough lightweight sport luggage from outdoor products featuring the double ski bag and boot bag of couture nylon by dupont furnished by outdoor products and Wellington's Taperflex Orion RM50 Combo Ski Package, vinyl vest and ski case and accessories, graphic design and coordinated colors, fun and fashion furnished by Wellington. Plus White's Coin Master Metal Detector for hours of treasure hunting fun with feather touch tuning to help you locate coins, jewelry, and precious metals. Furnished by White's Electronics. Now back to our main slam, Marty. Okay, thank you, Dean. And don't forget, players, when you hear this buzzer... That means Mr. Slimehead had chili and it didn't agree with him at all. No, 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 that's not what it means. It means the round will be over. Right now, the blue team has 75, the red team has 75. And before, before we go on, I just want you to take a look at Mary over here. She's really getting into the spirit. Look at the, look at, look at, look at her. She is a total mess. And that's what we like here. We're having a good time. So it is turn, let's see, Nicole, come on up here and Grace. The tie game, anything could happen. $50 for this question. A fish. 
a musical instrument, or a doctor who operates on people, which is a sturgeon. <laughs> a doctor who operates on people is not right. No, no, it sounds like surgeon. I said sturgeon, that is the fish. So great, you get the $50, good for you. And pick a spot for Mr. Slimehead. The right eye. The right eye, and behind that eye is this son. Oh, it's a prize. That's the prize bill, and you have won the Sport Luggage Outdoor Products. Congratulations to each of you. And we are going to play Butterflies Are Free. Come on down with me to the play area. We call this Butterflies Are Free, and they certainly are. Of course, it has nothing to do with the stunt, but I just like to say things like that. Okay, teachers, we've given you each a butterfly net, and uh, students, you are going to get some straws. Can we bring out the straws for the students so that they can... Here, these straws will be the butterflies. Hand some to the students. The students will start launching the butterflies by blowing the straw wrappers at their teachers, and the teachers, you will have to catch the straw wrappers with your net, and the teacher that catches the most will win the $50. Okay, back to back right here. And the students behind that yellow line over there, th those three there, and these three here. Okay, I'm going to put 20 seconds on the clock, if you will. Thank you. And don't forget, the one that catches the most will get the $50. On your mark, get set, start launching. Oh, I don't think, oh, nobody got one yet. Oh, they're tough to get. Oh, <laughs> there's one for the blue team. There's two for the blue team. There's one for the red team, two for the red team. You're doing a good job. There you go. Hold on, hold on, let's take a look. Blue team has one, two, three, and one drops is four. And the red team has four. It's a tie. You both get 50 bucks. 50 bucks. All right. Come on back here for the next question. Good deal. I like it when everybody wins. But the red team is ahead by $50, 175 to 125. Renee and Ryan, you are next again. Here's the question for $50. Who is the villain in Star Wars? <laughs> Darth Vader. Darth Vader it is. That's why I'm $50 for you. Okay, Ryan, go ahead and pick a spot. Uh, left ear. The left ear, and behind that ear is another prize. And you've won the white metal detector, one for each of you. And uh, we are going to go through the looking glass. Come on down here. <laughs> we call this one through the looking glass because that's where you have to look to complete the stunt. Uh, teachers, if you will just sit Indian style on the floor, back to back here, and uh, students, I think I'm going to have you stand on the other side of that, uh, uh, stand up right here, facing, there you go, uh, well, we're going to do it this way, I'm sorry, stand here with me, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, that's why I get the big bucks, okay, stand over here, Ryan, all right, here's the deal, you are going to use your mirrors to fill up those bowls on top of your teacher's head, you have measuring cups in your hand, you're going here, let me show you how this works, let me show you. See, what you're going to do, here, I'll tell you what, Lindsay, look out of the way. What you're going to do is you're going to try and fill the cup. It's just like this, watch. Well, that's basically, okay, you don't get to keep that, though. Okay, that's fair. It's empty again. Okay. The one of you that gets the most inside of the bowl in 20 seconds will win the $50. <laughs> you cannot turn your head around. You must look through your mirror. Please look through your mirror. Don't turn your head around. Can I get 20 seconds on the clock, please? Okay. On your mark. Now, wait a second. Now, these guys, okay, bring your hands up here. Go ahead and fill it up. Fill your first one up. Just make it fair because they're already up here with theirs. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. You've got 20 seconds. Let's take a look at here. Don't anybody move. Don't anybody move. The judge says... All right, I can't. They're screwed on. How can I do it? All right, take it off. And we'll put it on here so we can get some even. There you go. All right, bring this one over here, Ken, would you? And looks like... Looks like the red's a little full, but you tell me, judge. It's a tie. $50 for the red team, $50 for the blue team. Be very careful walking. That means it's $225 to $225. And we will play another question. Carefully walk back up here. Okay. Who will be next now? That makes uh, Lindsay, you are next. And Anthony, you are next. Come on over here with me. Here comes the next question. Is Captain Kirk...
Is Captain Kirk's starship on Star Trek called the USS Enterprise, Apollo, or the Gemini? And the blue did hit it first. I USS saw that. USS Enterprise. It is the Enterprise. You get the $50. You get to pick a spot for me. Oh, that buzzer means we have reached the end of round two. And uh, you see Mr. Slimehead starting to make his big turn here. That's because we are going to put our teachers into our slime chamber. As soon as it spins around, we'll show you that. And we'll be back. There he goes. And we'll be back to stick them inside of that in just a minute. You have to stay with us to see the end of the game. That's the way it works. back and it's time for slime this is the moment we've all been waiting for if i can get my teachers into the slime chamber let me help you in over here okay kids take a look at your teachers it may be the last time you see them even reasonably clean all right you are in there their fate is in your hands students because each time you answer a question correctly your team will get one hundred dollars and mr slimehead will move one step closer to sliming the other team's teacher but if you give me a wrong answer the other team will get the money and your teacher will get slimed so you want to just be right every time the first team to reach a thousand bucks gets to keep the money right now it's two hundred and seventy five for the blue team two hundred and twenty five for the red team you're right behind them every question's worth a hundred dollars anybody could win let's do it can a chicken fly? That's the blue team. No. No, a chicken cannot fly. You get $100. What insects can eat your house? Red team. Termites. Termites it is. 325 Is James Bond secret agent number nine? That's the blue team. 007. 007 is right in there. That's 475 Which is the most popular fruit among Americans? Is it... Yes, red team. Apples? No, I'm sorry, it's bananas. So the blue team gets the hundred dollars. That gives them five seventy-five. What type of animal was Jaws? Blue team. Shark. A shark it is. That's six seventy-five. Which TV show co-stars Malcolm Jamal Warner? That's the blue team. Cosby show. Cosby show. Yes, indeed. That's seven seventy-five. Okay. Would you find a bassoon in the jungle or in an orchestra? Blue team. Orchestra. Orchestra. Bassoon. You would find a baboon in the jungle. You were right. You were right indeed. Okay, that gives you 875. Two more correct answers. And poor uh, Andy over there is going to take it. You guys jump back in the game. You only need seven. What kind of animal is the cartoon character Garfield? Is, that's the blue team. Cat. It is a cat. You're one question away, one question away from sliming Andrew. You guys jump in if you can. Who is married to Dale Evans? Blue team. <laughs> Mrs. Evans? Mrs. Evans, yeah. No, that's uh, Roy Rogers, Roy Rogers, okay. $100 for the red team, that gives them 425 In what state is Tallahassee? Red team. Florida. Florida, yes, sir. Lindsay is right. <laughs> Staying alive. They're keeping you alive, Andrew. I think they all get A's this time. Okay, a dog, a mouse, or a television evangelist, who is Scooby-Doo? That's the blue team. A dog. A dog it is. And Andrew gets the slime. Here it comes. Oh, no. back to recap this game right after this. Don't go away, all right? All right, I had a feeling you were in for it, Andrew, and you got it. It looks good on you. Keep it that way. It looks great. <laughs> We don't have losers on Slime Time, though. No, you were good sports. You've already won the outdoor product sports luggage. And for the Rosewood School, we have this great gift, Dean. The Magnavox Word Processor, a self-contained personal writing system, includes keyboard, screen, memory, dictionary, and printer. Video Writer Word Processor furnished by Magnavox. Okay. We, uh, we thank you for being here. And uh, to the blue team who won today, now who made this sign for you? My mother made it. Your mom. And yeah. it says Slime and Burlwood. And you did just yeah. that. You yeah. won the game. You also each won the Vivitar camera, the metal detector, the white metal detector, and for the Burlwood School, what do they get, Dean? 
Merrillet's Artique Modular Shelving System, a special designer white color, natural oak accents, and adjustable shelves provide a custom look. Merrillet Industries, America's cabinet maker, and a book of knowledge encyclopedia, 21 volumes superbly illustrated, highly reliable, provides accurate, up-to-date information across the broadest spectrum of children's interests. And it's furnished by the book of knowledge, Marty. All right, thank you, Dean. And of course, you're taking home $1,075 in cold, hard, green cash. We want to thank both of our teams for playing a good game and being with us and taking the chance of turning out to look like this. Join us next week for another exciting episode of the messiest half hour on TV, Slime Time. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Some guests of Slime Time will receive Air Walks. For the hottest shoe on the street, check out Air Walks. Bright colors and wild patterns are made for daring feats. Air Walks shoes for a way of life. The Hanson Master Chest High Balance Scale. Professional quality, easy to read, no bending or stooping necessary. From Hanson Scale Company. Codaphone's all-in-one telephone answering system. Beautiful styling plus great features, including fast forward, memo recording, and beeperless remote. Furnished by Codaphone. Just point and shoot with Vivitar's PS135 camera. Auto focus, auto exposure, automatic film loading, beautiful 35 millimeter photographs. Furnished by Vivitar, Gibson's KeyTech 49 note portable mini keyboard, 12 digital voices, a complete drum machine, and two loudspeakers. The keys to the future. Furnished by Gibson USA. You and your family will spend the day with King Kong, Jaws, and Conan the Barbarian when you visit Universal Studios in Hollywood. Hey, gang, stay tuned for the hot new hangout where fun is the name of the game. Go on a mad dash with some really awesome prizes. So for all the fun, all the action, and the best prizes anywhere, it's the wildest mall in America. Catch the premiere of Treasure Mall next here on Channel 9. This has been a Hunt Jaffe production in association with OKT Productions.